once again to have support from New Horizons for Seniors uh, for a new project called Supper's Ready. And uh, we're also very fortunate to have uh, the uh, House Leader of the House of Commons, Peter Van Loan, here to announce uh, what they have given us. And I'd like to uh, welcome Peter Van Loan to the stage. Thank you. Thank you very much, uh, Jane, and uh, I want to thank uh, the Galliano Club and Jane for having us here today. It is a, a great pleasure to be here uh, to make this announcement. Our government's, of course, very proud to work with groups like the Galliano Club and to uh, uh, others who involve seniors in local projects where they get a chance to showcase their skills, their talents, share their special knowledge, their local knowledge, and their experience with others. Now, through the New Horizon program for seniors, uh, we're proud that we're partnering with the Galliano Club to deliver a project that supports seniors right here in this community with a locally driven initiative that really meets locally driven needs of seniors and others in the community. And uh, we understand, of course, that seniors are critically important and, uh, in this part of the country. In fact, in every part of the country, people are living longer, seniors are becoming a bigger, more active and more important part of the population and our communities and our country benefit when those seniors are deeply engaged and participating in the community. So we're living in good times, the budget is balanced, the federal tax burden is low, we've provided tax relief to Canadians, we're doing that in particular to help seniors. Uh, our new budget of course had a new home renovation accessibility tax credit for our seniors to be able to stay in their homes longer if they need to renovate a home with uh, something like a no-slip floor, uh, ramps for accessibility and so on, uh, there will be a tax credit for that. And of course we provided other elements like uh, flexibility and dealing with registered retirement income funds so seniors can manage their finances well into their retirement a lot better. But an important part of what we've also done in this budget is an additional increase in funding for New Horizons for seniors and that is now something from which uh, the Galliano Club is being able to benefit in this particular community. Uh, we've had 13,000 projects uh, in New Horizons across the country, two already right here with the Galliano Club uh, and I'm very proud to see the work that they have done in focusing on uh, uh, local sustainability, on uh, helping seniors develop uh, abilities and helping others uh, uh, develop that focus on local sustainable food. Uh, we've done that through assisting in the purchase of things like a freezer, which was critical, I understand, to a soup program. Both the make, learning the making of soup and, uh, of course, the uh, ability to preserve it and save it and uh, share it and use it and provide those needs locally. I'm proud to announce that today we have over $23,000 in New Horizons funding program for the Galliano Club to organize activities with and for local seniors. And this funding is going to help the Galliano Club to purchase additional kitchen equipment that's going to help them host intergenerational community dinners, share some of that knowledge of uh, those who are wiser among us who've been around for a while with those who are young and seeking that benefit of that wisdom and experience. And it also will help the Galliano Club organize volunteer drivers to uh, help isolated seniors uh, be more participatory in the community and attend these events. And of course, I understand the club is actually having been proven to be leaders in this field, they're going to be preparing a guide to help other remote communities create similar programs, uh, if you will, modeling best practices uh, for people everywhere, sharing the good ideas and the innovation that's come right here out of the Galliano Club. So I'm very, very proud of the opportunity to uh, uh, be part of supporting this program. I'm very, very proud that uh, the federal government has had a small share in uh, the success of what the Galliano Club has done through this community fruit program. But as each and every one of you know, these things don't happen in Ottawa. They don't come from Ottawa. They come from people in communities like this who make them happen. They are local initiatives for people who care about their community, care about their neighbours, and want to make a positive difference. That's exactly what's been happening here with the Galliano Club. I'm very pleased we're able to make this announcement today and be part of helping 
in that effort to make this community an even better place to live well into the future, especially for seniors, and help them stay in their homes and be part of this community for many more years into the future. Thank you very much. Um, I just wanted to add to that that the Galliano Healthcare Society is a partner in this in this project, and uh, and has also received uh, New Horizons funding in the past as well. Thank you.